Hello, this is Picasso Plays. We are playing Witchwood here today. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this. And we are headed straight to the old mill because we got to figure out will this alchemist stone be the solution to the hawk? Hello, friends. You're back. The hawk will return with his goons any minute now. Don't worry, I've got a solution to your monetary problems right here. You hold up the alchemist's stone proudly. Oh, that's a very fine jewel, but I don't think it will be nearly enough to satisfy the hawk. Just stand back and watch. All this grain is going just waiting to be spun into gold. The alchemist's stone ought to do the trick. Transmute. <gasps> You place the stone into a barrel of grain, and it melts through the kernels like butter. The barrel bursts under the weight of glittering gold coins spilling out onto the floor. Wow, it's a miracle! Um, more? Oh, okay. Where, what other grain am I supposed to go and touch? Okay, transmit. You touch the alchemist stone to a bushel of straw and it tr instantly transform in transforms into a mound of sparkling riches. Amazing! I can't believe my eyes! You roll the alchemist stone into a bag of flour and mounts of golden dust rip through the canvas stack. How is this possible? I've never seen so much gold in my life. Before the millers can so much count a single coin, the door crashes open. The hawk strides into the mill, flanked by a pair of guards crackling their knuckles. Time's up, where's my money? Yeah, pay up, squirts. M Master Hawk, not to worry. We have got your payment right here. His eyes open wide at the sight of piles of gold strewn about the mill. What? But how? Never you mind how. This should be more than enough to cover the costs. Of the miller depths, of the miller's depths, and the deed to the property. I don't understand. Unless, no, it can't be. He points at a hooked talon at you. He points a hooked talon at you accusingly. You, you're the rumbling. There's no other explanation. Guard, seize her. The two goons leap forward and grab you roughly by the arms. You're making a terrible mistake. Just take your money and leave these good people in peace. Don't play smart with me, imp. I know how the legend goes. I have caught you and now you must give me my weight in gold. Aha, I'm rich. I'll lock you up and seize you, squeeze you for every, every penny you've got. I'll be the wealthiest hawk in the entire kingdom. No, the entire world. Now pay out my first installment, Rumpling. He stretches... He outstretches his hand toward you greedily, as you wish. You dangle the alchemist stone out over his palm. No sooner does the gold touch cold stone touch the hawk's skin than a brilliant flash of yellow and light engulfs the mill. When the light fades, the hawk stands before you, transmuted into a solid gold statue. Oh, what magic is this? Horrified the two soldiers beat a hasty retreat through the door. What happened? Is he okay? You tuck the stone safely back into your satchel and give the hawk statue a pat. I think this should set you up nicely. Just don't go spending it all in one place. Thank you. How could we ever make this up to you, the millers say. Live a full, rich and full life. That ought to be enough for anyone. You notice the stray feather glinting on the floor. You pluck the golden feather and run your fingers along its gleaming barbels. It makes a sound like coins falling into a wishing well. Soul of the Hawk, this is my payment. Well, now he's stuck in the mill, because gold's heavy. How do you move this cursed statue? Anywho. Goodbye. With that, we're going to the village. We just snip a couple of these. Mm -hmm. One of this, and up to the village to figure out this wolf. Last of all of the souls. I hope that um, you are staying hydrated. I just took a little sip of water. 
if you were wondering if any questions about the noises I was making. I don't know if I made any noises. If I didn't, I, that would be wonderful. It was never my intention for you to hear me drinking liquids. Okay. I think I know where to find this wool. But come back here, suit sprite. Got it. Um, I'm being distracted by collecting stuff. Okay, let's get that. Oh, no sprites. Where is the suit sprite? It disappeared. Huh. Oh, there it is. Tavern. Huntsman. Dagnabbit! What did I mean too young for the tavern? I'm plenty big enough to go in there. Hello there, child. What are you so perplexed about? Ch child I'm no child. I'm a fierce, full-muscled man. He puffs out his tiny chest proudly. Oh, that must explain the little patches of fuzz on your chin there. His cheek cheeks flush red in embarrassment as he tries to reassert his dominant facade. Hey, it's rude to stare. Anyway, I... I just shaved. I knew I should have let my beard grow out more. That crotchety old barkeep says I'm too young to go into the tavern. What business do you have in a dank place like that? A lad like you shouldn't be wasting his allowance on ale. I'm not wasting my- I don't get an allowance. I'm a brave hunter. Or at least I will be as soon as I catch my first quarry. And what exactly are you hunting? Only the biggest, baddest beast of them all. The wolf! Do you know how many houses he's blown down, not to mention all the missing maidens? Missing maidens, you say? Everyone knows that Treasure's dog has a sweet tooth for pretty doms damsels. He lures them out into the dark wood so he can gobble them up. The town's guard's too scared to help, so it's up to me to put a stop to his terror, and he's inside that tavern. Right now! A shame there's no miners allowed. Let me have a look at the sparrow fellow and see if he's as bad as you claim. Well, I guess I'll just post up here until he comes out, then I'll give him a taste of my blunderbuss. <laughs> the wolf. Alright, let's go into this tavern and have a look. The thirsty gargoyle. Or, the fashionable one. Ah, there he is. You find the wolf looming over a frightened looking barmaid. Come on, Red, why don't you join me for a midnight snack? Uh, I already told you, I can't. I've got work to do. I'm sure your boss won't mind one bite, I mean, bit. Don't make me bite now. Please, I have to get back to work. Ah, uh, but you're just so delectable. A real feast for the eyes. You accidentally tread on the wolf's tail. Oh, excuse me, sir. He jumps up with a yelp and spins to face you angrily. Yow! Watch where you're stepping, you old hag. Terribly sorry, I couldn't tell you apart from the dirty rug on the floor. He bears his fangs at you menacingly. What did you say to me? While the wolf is distracted, young, the young maiden slips away and disappears into the gloom of the tavern. <sighs> now look what you've done, where'd she go? He shoves his way past you to go prowling around the bar. <laughs> the huntsman's tale rings true. I better find where that barmaid got to before she becomes dinner. Oh, there she is. In the back. You see the maid's red hood poking out from behind a wooden barrel. Oh, it's just you. Thanks for helping me out back there. I was getting a little cramped. It's hard enough serving mead all day, but have to have to deal with that sla slavering wolf too? He does seem like the relentless type. Are you alright? Just a bit rattled. I was ready to smash a tray over his snout if he got any closer, but I'm sure he that would have landed in me in hot water with the boss. The wolf's turning over every table and bar stool, trying to sniff you out. Great. I guess I'll just hide back here and uh, reorganize the storeroom or something. I admire your sense of self-preservation, but maybe there's a more permanent solution to this problem. A no young huntsman looking to prove himself before... Perhaps we can lure the wolf outside and deal with him there. Sure, but how? You can count me out as bait, because I'm done being dog food. I doubt that Mutt can see very well in this dingy place. I might be able to fashion a convincing enough likeness to trick him. You eye a nearby coat rack. That ought to make a good starting place. Well, whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. I'm losing out on tips. 
This old coat rack ought to serve as a solid frame. You won't need much to fool the wolf, but the enchantment will take a special touch. Key to my heart, sewing kit, and protective talisman. Do I have the things? I don't have the things. I don't have the things. I really don't have the things. I have bone. I need bone. I need black rose. I need a deep one, which requires a word water, skipper scale, and soothing room. Um, soporific potion. Craft. Oh my goodness, this is a long one. Um, spirit salts, unveiling powder. Soothing room. Okay. That's one. Skipper scale. I think I need snap traps for those. I'm gonna go to the docks. <laughs> Let's go. Out into the village. <sighs> oh wait, I can take that. Shortcut. Shortcut! Come here! Yes, thank you. Um... To the docks. Oh, there's a skipper. Mm -hmm. oh. Tab trap, that's what I need. Tab trap. Two of these. Make a crab trap. Oh, wait. I already had a grab trap. Nice. But I think I needed more. Oh, I just have just enough. Okay. Let's grab the stone. I'll do this too. Just in case. Okay, I need worm water. Ah, uh, word water can be crafted easily. Okay, okay. Let's go. Oceanic oil. With this. And a protective talisman. Protective talisman. Wicked gemstone. There's one. Ah, we need moo. Uh, let's go find this deep sea thingy first. Mm, there's one. Got it. Okay. Oceanic oil. I need rose and bone and moon. Okay, let's go get some moon. To the village. The way to the graveyard is pretty close from here. Oh no, wrong way. I keep doing this to myself. I need to go south instead of north. I'll take that 
iron snail. Hmm. To the graveyard. to make this and then make this to make this but I need move oh. need move oh healed healed for some move move water some of these empty jars. Let's craft a couple. Collect. Collect. Back here. Okay. Um, magic paste. Uh, protective talisman. Okay. Now to go to the village tavern. To set this to market? No, no, no. Village, village, village. To set the wolf straight. Tavern. To the thirsty gargoyle. Where the wolf is. And the wolf just keeps stomping around. Here are the few pieces. Tap the key and hear a lovely tone. This will power the puppet's heart and give it a romantic allure. Sewing kit. These take stock of the bits and bobs needed for sewing together and a convincing physique. There should be enough spare rags in a short room for ample stuffing. Protective talisman. If this is to survive an attempt on a wolf, it will need all the magical assistance it can get. You place the last stitch against the mannequin's doll-like smile. Its plump head hangs against the coat rack. No livelier than a reed in the wind. Are you sure this will work? I don't know if the wolf doesn't... I know that the wolf doesn't have the keenest eyes, but he's no fool either. You grin underneath your cauldron and extend a gnarled finger towards the red hook hood hanging on the coat rack. It will work just fine, my dear. A hound relies on a sense of smell more than anything else. This spare cloak of yours will complete the illusion. You throw a hood over the puppet's form and utter a dark curse beneath your breath. A great tremor passes through the building, shaking its foundation and making the lights flicker. An eerie light fills the room, illuminating the puppet's body. Its head cocks ever so slightly to hold you in an unsettling gaze. It's, it's, it's alive. Masterful automaton, take the puppet. 
I had better deploy this puppet out of the wolf's sight. This back room should be fine. And I'll simply walk it over to that salivating carnivore and strike up a conversation. Oh, I'm controlling the puppet. Guy the puppet on its invisible strings and bump it, bump it into the wolf. Well, well, look who's come back. I knew you couldn't hide from me forever. You can tort the puppet in a flirtatious twist and blow a kiss from the doll's stitched lips. What do you say you and me get out of this stinking tavern, eh? I'll take you up to my place, let you somewhere in the, uh, moonlight. You be do your best to make the puppets flutter. Pick the puppet. Bleh. You do your best to make the puppets puppet flutter its eyelashes seductively, but the lids get stuck halfway. Thankfully, the wolf is paying too much attention to his, to his hunger to notice. Don't be shy now. I'll show you the night of your life. It'll be a real treat, I promise. The wolf caresses the doll's burlap cheek with a clawed finger and grinning from ear to ear. The puppet returns his affection with a vacant but dyed stare. I've just got a few things prepared. Meet me at my cabin in the dark wood just north of the swamp. It's very dangerous road, so don't think about running off. But don't worry, I'll be watching you every step of the way, you know, to make sure you're safe. He licks his chops enthusiastically. Lashing his bully bushy tail back and forth, the wolf struts out of the tavern as if he won a thousand gold coins. You pilot the doll back to the storm and it collapses into a bundle at your feet, ready for its next assignment. You did it! That wolf is finally out of my hair, thank you so much! Maybe now I can finally get some work done around here. Mm. But I didn't hear a gunshot from our brave huntsman. I best go see if his ambush went awry. Take care, my dear. Don't let the dogs keep you down. Speak to the huntsman outside the tavern. Was he shivering? In his the young hunter is practically shaking in his boots when you find him outside the tavern. I couldn't do it. I brought that wolf right to you and you chickened out. What kind of hunter are you? Did you see him? He's huge and hairy! He gave one look at my little blunderbuss and howled with laughter. How am I even supposed to scratch that monster with his puny pop gun? Sounds like you need some better ammo. As I recall, wolves have a peculiar, particular distaste for silver. By Abraham's beard, you're right. What I need is a silver bullet. It'll, it'll take some cooking, but it can be done. Ah, I need a silver bullet. How to make silver bullet. Oh, alchemy alloy. Melting pot, moonlight globe, more sticky, shiny things. Okay, um, there might be one in the town somewhere. Let's make one of these. Um, I can make one of these. That means I can make this already. Um, okay, I have enough of that. But it seems I need to go back to the mountain for a red feather. Make one of those to craft that thing. Inventory. Um. Hmm. And I need a shiny stone. I'm sure I could find one here somewhere, if I look keenly enough. Mm. No. So far, nothing. I'm gonna go to the mountain to go get that red feather. Put this down where I see a red feather. Hello birdie birdie birdie. Hello birdie 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 birdie. Where are you birdie 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 birdie? Birdie. Bird? Ah there's one. Come, birdie, birdie, birdie. 
Nice. A red feather. Oh, and it's got meaty morsel too. Okay. Grimoire. Need another. And then I need shiny stone. Um, birdie birdie. Birdie birdie. Birdie 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 birdie. Bird. Burb. Nice. Let's make that out of my hair. And shiny stone. Back to town. Where can I find a stone? By the river, hopefully. It has respawned. There's a stone. Let's make the moonlight globe. And now, silver bullet. Let's go to the hunter. And give him that silver bullet. Abraham's beard, you're right. What I need is a silver bullet. Here you go. This is perfect. That wolf won't know what hit him. I'll meet you at the dark wood and we'll put an end to his terror. I'll meet you at the dark wood and we'll put an end to his terror once and for all. With a bullet and blunderbuss in hand, the huntsman jogs off down the road towards the swamp. I hope, sh I sure hope he finds his bravery along the way, or it won't matter what sort of slugs he's singing. Hmm. To the swamp. How do I get to the north wood? Dark wood? Oh no. Am I? Ah. It is. It is as they say. I need to get past this final big boy. Oh, he's no longer there. Into the dark wood. <sighs> you find yourself looking down the gaping mouth of a gun muzzle. Who's there? Show yourself. Don't you point that thing at me. Oh, yes ma'am. Sorry ma'am. It's just so dark, darn dark in here I can hardly see my own shadow. Why do you think they call it the dark wood? Keep your head on your shoulders lad. We've got a big bad wolf to bring down. Um, right. Yeah, I'm totally not afraid of a vicious seven-foot-tall killer who makes his home in a forest as black as night. You need to concentrate on a task at hand. We've only have one silver bullet, and if the wolf catches even the smallest whiff of our plan, it curtains for us. <laughs> no pressure. So what exactly is the plan? The wolf is waiting in his cabin. I'll sneak up and lure him to you with my puppet, just like I did before at the tavern. Meanwhile, you find a good hiding spot and ready your gun. And this time, I won't wimp out. I've got the silver bullet. So, um, do you know which way the wolf's cabin? I can't really make out a path or anything. Let me worry about that. You just get yourself ready. And remember, don't miss. You squeeze through the gaps in the trees and duck under claw-like branches, but somehow you've managed to end up right where you started. Ugh, I'll never make head or tail of these pathways. Perhaps I should ask someone with a bird's eye view. A keen-eyed owl inspects you from its roost. Hoo hoo hoo. Well, hoo hoo to you too. I wonder what is it, what it is you're trying to say. Hmm. Hmm. No. Avian lexicon. That's what I need. Oh. Stuffed herb. Herb. 
Oh, my. Okay, well. If I'm going to make sense of this owl, I have a lot of things to collect, so I am going to go do that in the next episode. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time. Toodaloos! Where we best this wolf. <laughs>